major trend, political force today. I think this is one thing that we need to engage in terms of our catechetical work, ecological ethics and catechesis, ecology. Five key ideas, stewardship of for the poor, a right to a safe and healthy natural environment. Okay. Five key ideas, precautionary principle. Precautionary meaning be able to be sensitive to the nature around <coughs> and lifestyle changes. One situation of the youth I'll show you later during, after the break is this issue of depression and suicide among the young and the increasing number already in epidemic proportions that every day there, is, there are 35 cases, every day there are 35 cases of HIV in our country. And some of these, majority are coming from Catholic schools. HIV. Not yet AIDS, HIV lang. And the infection is not through drugs, but through sexual contact. Mostly are male homosexuals, or those who are male curious, or bi curious. Yun ang mga ano. At present, sabi nila, I'm still doing research, there are 65 genders now. 65 genders. And ongoing. <laughs> Next, multipolarism, political, military, economic, strategic arrangement. Multipolarism. In other words, it's no longer U.S., Russia, Great Britain. No. no. Multipolar system. China has become a world force. India has become a world force. Right? Brazil has become a world force. Sa Catholicism naman, ang dumadami ang vocations, Vietnam, Korea. You want to have more vocations, go to Vietnam. Tama yung nangyayari sa atin, di ba? Fathers, those who were with them. Kaya yun yung dalaw sa Korea, something fascinating. Increasing. Among mga SPC, Sisters of St. Paul, and dami Korean sisters. Even their general now is Korea. Multipolarism. And number 10, Pentecostalism. Baptism of the Holy Spirit. So the trend right now is the charismatic movement. So one thing that our catechists and even you would have to undergo is what we call Catholic Life in the Spirit Seminar. LSS. Because they're still alive, very much alive. <coughs> Healings, visions, speaking in tongues. <coughs> and because of that, connected to that is exorcism, spiritual warfare. <coughs> I have a question dito. Will the parish perish? Huh? The answer is no. But the parish needs to reinvent itself to become more responsive to the times. That's why, sabi ko nga sa inyo, isang simbahan dati, tatlong chapels, ngayon naman tatlong, isang simbahan, tatlong chapel, at dalawang mall chapels. Where are the Catholics going? To the mall chapels. Kasi convenience. Eh. They go there for mass after that they eat as a family. Makikita ninyo, paano ang packaging? Hindi yung packaging sa landmark. Saan nila lalagay sa chapel? Ground floor? Hindi. Top floor. Bakit? Psychological. Pagbaba ng mga tao, mamimigay. Ganun din dito. Nilagay nila sa fifth floor ang chapel. Kasi pagbaba, andyan ang mga kainan. Andyan ang shopping. Magaling. Ha? Ganun din sa SM Aura. Top. Tama. Ganun din sa SM Mega, top. Landmark, ang laki ng chapel ng landmark. Pero makikita nyo ito, ang laki. Pero two floors ang kinain. 
The chapel is two floors. It's high ceiling. It's huge. Parang simbahan. Yung simbahan na parokya. Kaya naging sensation pa ako din. During Sunday Mass. Nagkaroon ako ng, ng three doon dyan. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, at Easter Vigil. Pero ibang pare. Kasi I have to preside in the Mother Church. Pero the people here are very particular about what? English. One time, one of my priests, our priest, was confronted by one of the mothers and say, Father, please check your English. <laughs> you did not pronounce the words properly. And your grammar speaks only of the, your inner inability to connect subject and predicate. Ayun. <laughs> Kaya, may mga pare na sabi, Padre, umisang nga dito, saan? Rockwell. Ay, wag na lang. <laughs> Basta English, no? gusto nila mo. Isang issue na sa, sa formation. Communication skills. Very strong, no? Why? Because we're always saying preferential option for the poor, preferential option for the poor. At the end of the day, we cannot even evangelize the rich. At the end of the day, we need to connect with them also. We cannot just say we love them, we love the poor. Okay, nandun. But you also have to evangelize the rich. That's precisely the principle of Archbishop Michael Doherty. When the Christian brothers, the Sun brothers came, their ministry was not for the poor. Their ministry was to evangelize the rich. That's why the Dasal School was geared towards the creme de la creme of Philippine society. Question ngayon is, are the brothers still doing that? Are you still evangelizing? Kasi ang mayayaman din ay dapat ma-evangelize. So, where does that begin? The seminary. Yung candidates in the seminary must have what? Capacity to speak English fluently. <laughs> Tama? 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 Tapos na. Tapos na, Okay? Let's have a break. Let's come back to level 15. Thank you. <laughs>